Got an Caden Lewis update for you. He has dropped North Carolina from his final four, meaning down to a final three. If you're unfamiliar with this recruitment, it's the blue bloodiest of the blue blood recruitments. He's down to Duke, Kentucky, and UConn. He's been to Kentucky and UConn very recently. He is going to Duke this week. That's kind of... Uh, maybe an important footnote here, Dion cancels or, or drops North Carolina immediately goes to Duke. Interesting. But uh, I think all signs still point to Kentucky. I think a lot of people are anticipating a Caden will commit to Kentucky, but I don't know. Still some weird movements, some shiftings happening here. One could assume North Carolina was dropped from consideration after taking in Derek Dixon. Um, Derek Dixon is a combo guard and they're still after Isaiah Dennis. They're still after a couple other guards. If you wanted to do that game, you would point out that UConn just brought in Darius Adams and is still trying to get Braylon Mullins. So they're definitely actively recruiting the other guards as well. Uh, Duke and Kentucky kind of feel a little more like, Hey, this is your spot. Okay. Come get it. So uh, I think. Everyone presumes Kentucky. He's going to Duke this weekend. He dropped North Carolina. What do you make of the latest puzzle piece updates to the Acadian Lewis recruitment? So it's very much like the presumption is Kentucky. Would like the the rumored order be like Kentucky, UConn, Duke, I guess? Uh, I think that's what I would have answered. I won't speak for the consensus, but coming into this, I would have said Kentucky one, gap, UConn two, gap. Duke and North Carolina three. I'd be terrified of him going to Duke if I'm one or two. John Shire is like, John Shire is an assassin on the recruiting trail. He gets who he wants more often than not. Um, this is one of those situations where it feels, in the world of NIL, I feel like every recruitment, no matter how close we think it is to being done, is kind of open. And this feels like one of those situations where if you're Kentucky or UConn, you kind of just have to hope Duke doesn't come with some money that like a Caden wasn't expecting. Um, and I know recruitment isn't all about money, but that's kind of how you steal a recruit at the end of the day. If the consensus is a Caden's going to Kentucky, there's a gap, UConn gap Duke. If Duke's bringing him in, there's something that they're, they have up their sleeve that no one knows about um, that they feel confident in doing. So I'd be terrified if I was Kentucky or UConn right now. So here's what I would say. Um, Acaden has very clearly been wowed by and prioritized the brand power of these schools, right? That's how you end up with a final four of four blue bloods, even though the four blue bloods all started recruiting you much later than some other big name schools. Like he had serious recruitment, serious offers from other good basketball programs. And he just kind of like dumped them all the moment the Blue Bloods came calling. Now, I am in favor of that because I think a Caden Lewis is worthy of starting as a point guard, as a freshman on a Blue Blood. Like, I think he's that good. But when you do that, unless you're a top five player in the country, you do set yourself up for some interesting situations. And that is kind of what's going on with a Caden. Like, a Caden is not the best guard in the class according to people now i think he's up there but i mean 24 7 has him ranked 32nd in the country the fifth best point guard four star those guys are really good all of these schools would take you but all these schools are also after higher rated guards than you duke still wants the boozer twins one of those is a point guard uh kentucky i, I think right now you would say Kentucky is like the most willing to just give everything to a Caden, but also Kentucky also got Jasper who some people consider a point guard in the first place. Uh, UConn again, Darius Adams and UNC Derek Dixon. So I, I, it's one of those things to me where like, I think a Caden has dropped North Carolina because they got Dixon and they're recruiting other guards. To me, that would also mean you should drop UConn given how they're approaching the guard spot and that leaves you with two other schools that, oh, by the way, like have other guards they probably care more about than a Caden. Like if you ask Duke, who do they want? The Boozers or a Caden, they're going to take the Boozers. If you ask Kentucky what was more important, they would say Jasper Johnson than a Caden. So as an Acadian Lewis fan, let me be clear on this. I love this kid. I love his game. I think he's going to surprise everyone and start right away. But I, I'm starting to fear just a little bit like he may have 
gone about this a little iffy for me, like of just like, oh, it's just blue bloods. Well, then commit quickly because the blue bloods might might get some other guards and stop caring about you as much as they do right now. And I don't want to see that happen to him. I don't want to see him end up in a situation where he thinks he's committing to start and in hindsight, he's not. And I, I think that is a distinct possibility at all four of these schools right now. So he's probably waiting it out for situations, right? Like he's probably waiting to see, oh, do the Boozer twins commit to Miami? Because then there's a lot of guard minutes at Duke potentially um although proctor's back too i don't know the situations of this just feels weird to me yeah i mean proctor caleb foster con like it also just doesn't feel like carlos boozer is gonna allow them to go to my so uh, <laughs> if i'm a caden like i'm a big take your free visit guy so i think he's doing the right thing this weekend but you're probably looking to pivot elsewhere what i don't understand is in the world of the transfer portal in the world of all these different things, like and Caden Lewis probably does himself the most justice by going to a different high major school and then transferring to the Blue Bloods after his freshman year. Um, and he still gets to where he wants to be. And then he starts as a sophomore, which honestly, like, I hope it I hope like he starts right away. But like you said, that might be the most realistic possibility for him with some of these schools. So I feel like you do yourself more justice if you go to a separate like power four conference team or power five, if you count the Pac-12 now, um, and then you just work your way back up to the Blue Bloods in a year. Yeah, I, I wouldn't hate that path. It, it's just weird because of the four, right? If you're looking at the guards, each of these four schools are recruiting outside of the Caden. North Carolina's were the worst caliber. Like mm -hmm. Derek Dixon is not as good of an, a, a player as a Caden Lewis, right? Isaiah Dennis is not as good of a player as a Caden Lewis. So for that to be the one he dropped almost confuses me. Cause it's like, I, I would assume a Caden looks at those guys and is like, yeah, I'm better than them. I can beat them. But mm -hmm. instead he, he, he drops them. And like, I, I mean, I, a Caden might assume he's the best player out of all these people, but I, he's not higher rated than the boozers or Jasper Johnson or Darius Adams. So I don't know. I, it, I'm excited for him still. I think wherever he goes, the Blue Bloods are going to love him. It's just it's almost one of those ones where like the body language guy in me. Wants to like take a 20 to one long shot thing here of like he reopens his recruitment to some other schools. Um, now, I, I I doubt that happens because all signs do still point to Kentucky. And I do think of the schools remaining in this recruitment, Kentucky isn't after a bunch of other guards, right? Like they had Michael Brown on a visit, but I think everyone involved knows that's kind of like unserious as far as like what the interest level is there. So I don't know. I do you if you had to put your finger on it, do you think it is still Kentucky or do you think like Duke swoops in here? I still think it's Kentucky. But I think Duke has something up their sleeve that's going to make this process a lot harder for Kentucky than it feels like today. Um, and the more we talk about it, I think it should be neither school. And I think he should be do exactly what you said, like reopen your recruitment. And let's see what everybody else has going on a little bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I, I the kid is blue blood worthy talent wise. So I I still am very excited. He ends up at one of these. I just I hope he plays and I hope he doesn't kind of get passed over um i think it's kentucky there are people out there behind the scenes that are saying like boldly it's kentucky and it's coming and it's kentucky i don't know that i feel that strongly that it's kentucky but if i had to set a leader in the clubhouse it would be kentucky and my backup option would be duke right now i do think they're charging and i do think they have a legitimate real opportunity to swing this based on how this visit this weekend goes football season is here Money is out there to be had in the form of winning bets. And our friends at my bookie want to make it easy for you to do just that. Yeah. And coming into football season, you're going to have games all weekend happening everywhere. And Gregory, where is the only place that sleepers media places all bets? I can tell you right now, since last February, February 1st, to be exact. My bookie is the only place that I have placed a sports bet. I love my bookie. They make it easy. They get you quick payouts. They have awesome promo offers. In fact, card, they've got one right now that football fans everywhere and listeners of this show are going to want to take advantage of. Yeah, using promo code sleepers, that's promo code sleepers. You can take advantage of a 50% instant deposit bonus right now. That's 50% 
instant deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars over at my bookie. Use promo code sleepers and happy betting. Home dogs aren't dogs, they're wolves. Arr- I'm trying to flip that into like sport like home sports books aren't books, they're novels. We'll work on it. That didn't work. Go my bookie promo code sleepers. <laughs>